begins tonight with that shocking sight as a semi totals a house. Now tonight we're hearing from the homeowner who returned to nothing but ruin. The truck blew a tire on 26 mile road near Gratiot and that led to a trail of destruction in Macomb Township. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel has the latest from the scene of this unbelievable wreckage. The semi, it's still here at this moment. You can see some of the damage from the accident from both cars as well as going through that house. That home's owner seemingly unfazed by it all. A shocking sight in Macomb Township. I heard a small crash and I thought, okay, fender bender. Then it got louder and I went, hmm, maybe I should check that out. Another crash. And as I was headed for the door, there was something that was so loud, it almost sounded like a bomb. And that must have been when the truck went through the house and then I ran an Ajax semi trailer through a house on 26 mile road at Ono. Witnesses tell Macomb County Sheriff's that a tire blew. The driver lost control, hit other vehicles, went into the house and came to rest at the edge of a cemetery. How was he? How was the driver? Shaken, shaken. Um, Everyone was shaken and in shock. Arguably none more so than the home's owner, um, Charles Chuck Van Flutteren who is taking the destruction of his house in stride. I have no clothes. I have no roof. <laughs> Chuck was at work when it happened. When he got the call, the was, first thing that I panicked about is everything was in the basement because I have trains. His prized collection of model trains likely lost the home brand new, less than a year and a half old. Chuck happy to have been out of harm's way. If there was anybody in there. I don't even a cat could move fast enough to get out of the way. It was mechanized death. Now yeah. Chuck E. Cheese, Freeze. that's what the kids call Not him at the Kroger cheese, cheese section, yeah. assured of what his next steps are with full coverage insurance. Well, I call the insurance company and say, show me the money. <laughs> It's up to them. Laughs aside, this could have been much worse. We are told everyone was wearing seatbelts. Somehow no serious injuries, though still under investigation. Sheriffs believe this was a freak accident. No drugs or alcohol suspected in a new twist. The trailer full of blacktop asphalt. That's what's being removed right now at this moment, and it must all be emptied out before that semi can be removed. So 26 mile road still closed until that moment. Reporting in Macomb Township, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Man, what a mess, and thank goodness he took it in stride.